So I woke up this morning to see that hashtag boycott Hamilton was trending on Twitter. My first thought was, what the fuck is Hamilton and why are we boycotting it? Cause I like a good boycott. Maybe I want to join the boycott too. Turns out Hamilton is a play about Alexander Hamilton. And the reason for the boycott is because one of the cast members of the play had some words for future vice president, Mike Pence, who was apparently in attendance. So conservative America is threatening to boycott um, a play. Isn't that kind of like Harvard graduates threatening to boycott NASCAR or fat people like me threatening to boycott vegetables? Even Trump got in on this. He tweeted, our wonderful future VP Mike Pence was harassed last night at the theater by the cast of Hamilton. Cameras blazing. This should not happen. 26,000 people retweeted that and 86,000 people favorited it. But Trump wasn't done. He had more to say about this serious issue. The theater must always be a safe and special place. The cast of Hamilton was very rude last night to a very good man, Mike Pence. Apologize! That one got 33,000 retweets and 100,000 favorites. Probably more by now, because those were the stats this morning. So people are really pissed about what this actor said to Mike Pence. You've even got Mr. Anti-PC Trump talking about you guys, the theater is a safe space, you guys, okay? It's a safe space. Just what did these fucking, what did this fucking actor say? Was he like, Mike Pence, we coming for you, nigga? I don't think so. Did they threaten him with violence? Did they try to kick him out of the theater? Or, get, or try to get the crowd to boo him out of the building? Let's take a look. Vice President-elect Pence, we welcome you and we truly thank you for joining us here at Hamilton and American Musical. We really do. We, sir, we are the diverse America who are alarmed and anxious that your new administration will not protect us. Our planet, our children, our parents, or defend us and uphold our inalienable rights, sir. But we truly hope that this show has inspired you to uphold our American values and to work on behalf of all of us. All of us. Oh, really? Really America? Really conservatives? Really Trump? Really Pence? I've never seen a bigger bunch of sniveling little pussies in my entire life. And I've been covering the SJWs for years now. I thought you fuckers were like the big tough men who were gonna show us the strength it takes to make America great again, oh yeah. But you're not even in office yet, and you're already crying like an overambitious faggot who just shoved too big a dildo up his ass. And over what? The mean actor said something mildly critical of the impending Trump administration. Oh my fucking God! Ah! It's the end of the fucking world! Boycott that play! Fuck that play! How dare you say something as toxic and incendiary as... We hope this show has inspired you to uphold our American values and work on behalf of all of us. Oh! Oh! Lordy, lordy, lord, no! Oh, God, why? What possessed this demon, this fucking demon, to spew his vulgar hate speech against our vice president? The nerve of these fucking actors. They think they can just go around making calls for unity and brotherhood in front of Mike fucking Pence. Nah, dog. Pence don't roll like that. Pence gonna take your calls for a United States and he gonna cry hardcore on them shits. He gonna use the script for Hamilton to dry his salty ass tears with, bitch. And he gonna use the cold cuts on the, on the fucking table backstage at Hamilton to apply to his red butt hurt ass. Then you're going to see you should have never kind of, sort of, not really messed with Mike Pence, bitch. 
Are we gonna have to deal with four years of our president and vice president whining like someone being forced to fuck a cactus at gunpoint every time someone says something they don't like? If this actor had gotten up on stage and said, Mike Pence, we're ashamed that you're our vice president, and we all personally hope that your ball sack is ripped apart by starving mongrel dogs, then his reaction uh, from Trump and his supporters, that might make sense. But as things stand, the Trump administration looks to be a collective of coddled crybabies with a victim complex bigger than Kim Kardashian's ass and Kanye West's ego put to fucking together. The weirdest thing to me is that what this actor said is the same thing Trump said in his victory speech, that he hopes Trump will be a president for all people. If that's what Trump plans on being, shouldn't his response be, oh yeah, of course, of course that's what I'm gonna do. Don't worry, I know you're afraid, but that's just because the mainstream media is filling your head with bullshit. Shouldn't that be the fucking tact instead of, you offended us, apologize. That's SJW shit. And now we got the fucking president-elect whining on his Twitter about safe spaces like a teenage tumble arena who just got an anonymous message in her inbox calling her fat. You guys wanna boycott something? How about you boycott being total pussies? You're the president and vice president of America. You don't get to play the victim card anymore. You're the most powerful men in America. Act like it. I'm the Amazing Atheist. Peace the fuck out. Jesus!